Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Skulk, continuing the story of Winds of Change. I could go on and on about, oops, I did, I did it again, I didn't record for a while, but, yeah, it, it's just, <laughs> I need to get myself back into the flow. I miss, I do love, do love recording. Why don't I? I don't know. Time gets away with me. I remember leaving off here. <sighs> yeah. Do I remember going inside? <laughs> Probably <laughs> not. Let's go, I guess. As soon as we enter, Dominic walks down the center aisle. He start he trails a finger along the pews as he does. Gathering up dust. Dang. <laughs> Has this place really not been touched that long? Not much time for triumvirate worship these days. Mm. Do people actually worship them anymore? Do people care? Do people like them? Have they chosen to be... Worshipable? He makes his way to the spirit idol at the back of the church. Clapping his hands together. He frees himself of the dust. This is the spirit idol of Maseo. Or so we thought until recently. It remains dust free, unlike the rest of the church. It's dust immune. What, what kind of properties are on that thing? I want that in my computer. <laughs> like on everything in the house, just, just so. He places a hand on the altar, looking up at the idol. We assumed it was dim and dying. You know, like the idol back in Valinorth. But that's not the case at all. We were shocked. The reason it's dim is because it's receiving power. However, the source of the power is deep underground. That's what the Triumvirate has been digging for. The entire reason for their occupation. And now, it's in the hands of the Rebellion. First their sword, <laughs> now the idol they sought. <laughs> Oh, we had the power that they wanted. <laughs> We're gonna beat their butts with what they had. He turns back to face us. A wide smile on his face. It would seem the tables are turning. Feel free to rest for a few minutes. There's still a bit of a walk ahead. I thought we were here. I'm guessing when you say that, it's gonna be a long walk away. Uh, walk, walk ahead. Down. <laughs> Oh no, please, is that it? Seriously? More walking? When are we gonna get to rest? Trust me, you'll get plenty of time to rest. Just take a breather before we continue. He points to the pews before walking over to the door in the back corner. And uh, the yawns are back. <laughs> you guys can't see my face, but uh, I just... Just keep yawning, I'm just struggling. Stop it! <laughs> this door will lead us to the tunnel, Seer. It's the final stretch, I can promise you that. Whenever you're ready, let's head on down. Alright. He presses his back against the wall and crosses his arms. Everyone seems glad that he was offering us a brief re reprieve. I take a few moments to collect myself before we head down. Now let's get some, some. Uh, uh, it's been a while. Uh, what's your name again? Yon Stein. <laughs> Last time I saw his backstory or his point of story, not backstory. Sorry, his point of view. Why is the map in the? <laughs> Oh, the map's on the door. Okay. So, why is it just floating in the middle of the screen? <laughs> but yeah, when we were, uh... Oh! Okay. I was wondering what the thing is. The last time we, uh, looked at his thing, it was like he was following us. So, I feel like he's right behind us, follow, uh, just seeing where we're going. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> 
yet. Let's see the Chronicles of Sovi. Mm -hmm. Continuing their adventure through the docks, Sovi keeps close to Shane, leading everyone into a on into a scheduled back alley. Secluded schedule. This we scheduled this back alley for this exact reason. <laughs> he lets out a loud sigh. It was nice to get away from all the noise. Mazines are were obnoxious. What gives? This isn't the way to Valinorth. But I guess you do like going backwards. Oh, we'll get there yet. I just have some business to tend to. Shane, can I talk to you alone for a moment? Shane nods and follows Sylvie deeper to the alleyway. Helen take, uh, takes a note. Uh, Helen takes the note and stands guard, assuring their privacy. Look, something important has come up. You're aware of our moles within the rebellion, right? Alleged moles. Yes. Well, I found this at our drop point. I think it's something you'll be interested in. Sobe holds out a letter, prompting Shane to take it. It's a letter written by Domek. Why is this important? Just read it, Shane. It's from Domek to Valnorth's Elder. It seems your capture was just part of his plan. What? Shane keeps reading the letter, his eyes shooting wide open. <coughs> How's my gunshot sound? Pretty spot on, right? <laughs> Every word was like a knife to the heart. He was betrayed. He wanted me to get captured? Look at this. It says he hates me. I'm sorry you had to find out this way, but your mission was only a cover. He wanted to kill you off, Shane. Why do people read letters like that and just instantly think, I was betrayed, and I'm with the bad guy, and, and now, and now this? It says he hates me. Like, what kind of letter would just say, we had this Ganner team, but just because I hate him, we're just gonna get him caught and on purpose. And it's just so weak and pathetically. It's it just doesn't sound like a letter that someone would write. It sounds childish. That's not true. I refuse to believe this. I know Dominic. He wouldn't do this to me. Mm-hmm. You better believe it. Are you sure about that? It makes sense when you think about it. He sent you there to gain intel, right? <laughs> yeah. He already had all the intel he needed. That was the purpose of the Exodus Raid. They mapped out our entire castle, Shane. What intel is there left for you to gather? None. Domek just wanted you out of the way. Hmm. No. We were merciful enough to give you a chance, Shane. We could have killed you, but we still found value in your life. I think that's way more than anything Domic can say. Mm. You... You are a bad brainwasher. It really does look like his handwriting. I have no reason to lie to you, Shane. Mm -hmm. I know what it's like to have your world torn apart. It seems like all hope is lost, doesn't it? What should I do? You were planning to run away, weren't you? Maybe you thought you could lose us in the crowd? It's a good idea, but there's no home left for you there. Why did you wait until now to show me? Questions, questions. Gotta get those questions out. Because I have a favor to ask of you, Shane. And remember, I would never abandon you. 
I've had every opportunity to kill you. Yeah, but you wanted to brainwash him to go. <laughs> Instead of killing him, I'll return one of their buddies off on them. And then they'll be stabbed their heart, hurting them from the inside. <laughs> yes. What a masterful evil plan. A favor? Sully takes back the letter while he watches Shane fight back tears. It was a hard thing to accept, being dis disowned by your family. But it was a pain that Sobe knew all too well. He could relate. Now I'm curious, is some of this real? And even though the story, like I mentioned before in the other episodes, this is it seemed like a really good story. I'm wondering, is this either... Uh, <laughs> A sad tip for brainwashing? Is it real? <laughs> Was the writing on this area real, but uh, like the story behind it real, or and the wording was just um, worded this way? And this, I don't know. I'm confused. <laughs> he didn't respond just yet. He watched a silent ra rage build up within Shane. That would be perfect, for rage was an inevitable tool on the battlefield. With a smirk, Sylvie finally broke his silence, placing a hand on Shane. Don't worry, I'll still let you visit Domic and the Rebels. It's just, I have something different in mind for you. A chance to pay him back, if you'd be so inclined. That's the brainwash, trying to get the staff from the inside, turning a friend on the friends, and giving the knife to the friend who stabs him in the back. Just because he did a bad, uh, I guess a convincing, a convincing words letter? Shane's fists tremble in anger. In this moment, he was right where Sobe wanted him. Yeah. I'll do it. Hmm. I'm wondering if he's double agenting right now. Like he know he's still on our side and he's just following with it because Dear me. <laughs> really? The sun shines with intensity, illuminating the interior of the church. I can see every bit of dust lining the floor and pews. I guess they spent more time dusting underground. <laughs> I guess so. So this is the spirit idol of Museo. At least that's what they ta thought until recently. I can see why they make that mistake, actually. It sure looks like a spirit idol. Well, a dying one, at least. But to think, the real one is deep underground. And allegedly... It's massive and full of energy. That'd be the first it'd be the first time I saw an active spirit idol. Pews line the church full of dust and signs of neglect. It was almost a statement that no one cared about the triumvirate. Hehehe, <laughs> take that. That was a bit that was a bit hopeful to see. Now I know why Dominic likes this place. It doesn't look like anybody has been here in ages. However, a dust-free trail leads to the door at the back. You know... That's actually a bad thing. It's clear that, the, uh, that only the rebels have been making use of it. Which is kind of bad, if you think about it. He kind of made a trail. You might you might want to take the time to dust some of this place just to just to show that it's been used or don't leave a straight trail to your hideout. Any other clickables? Yeah, I think it's just more long pews. All right, here we go. Hey. Right. When did I forget the name? Ford Tame. It's like, it's right in the back of, it's in the, it's in a box, and in the back of my mind, in Winds of Change category. 
And once I open it, I'm like, I remember. <laughs> what do you think of his nails so far? It's crazy. I don't know what to think. Just when I'm comfortable, something new is thrown at us. The markets, the residential districts, and the docks. Valinorth is pretty much the same no matter where you are. To see things so different, that's a real shocker for me. I'm not sure what my favorite part has been so far. If I had to choose, though, I'd say the residential district. Being able to live free from the noise and free of work, that's like a dream come true. Everywhere is so noisy. Yeah. I assume you get used to the noise, but it's still there. You know what I mean, right? You just learn to ignore it. I'd rather not have to do that. It'd make things way easier. Mm-hmm. What do you think of Dominic? He's so cool! I love being around him. I want to learn to be more like him, if I'm honest. Everybody respects him and follows his directions. You gotta start, because the way you currently are, you're... I thought with your spirit and your spunk and your idea of being so open to the world is great. But you're still... child... Sorry, auto swallow. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> You're still childish. You need to grow out of that if you're going to be the leader. And I know that you guys pushed me to the voting to say who's going to be the leader. I liked your idea, but now you have to stand up to it. Now you you need to stand up to the plate. He's going to make a fine leader after this is over. I actually doubted the rebellion, but he convinced me. This cause is in perfect hands. We're going to do this. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you see that. What are your thoughts on Pro? I didn't trust him at first, but he's growing on me. I know he does a lot of shady things, but only out of necessity. I have no doubt in my mind that after the war is over, he'll change. Hmm. Ulrich? Ulrich is probably my favorite person so far. I mean, he gave me free money earlier. Free! It's all thanks to him that I got to taste a Mosaic apple. That's the one thing I was looking forward to. He's been nothing but friendly since we met him. Sure, he seems strong, but he's really gentle. Seems strong. He is strong. <laughs> he, may, he, he should have been worded. He uh, may seem strong and gruff, but he's really gentle. It would it'd make more sense that way. Who would have thought that a guy like him has a soft side? Either way, yeah, Ulrich has been great. He's teaching me a lot. Maybe one day I might even learn how to use a great sword like him. That's a great, that's a great thought. I'm not doubting. Just let you know, even though I'm giving uh, uh, Fortame a little bit of shame on how he acted somewhere else, it's just his... Uh, he has good ideas, a good spirit. It's just how he re uh, presents himself in certain circumstances. Like, he's very childish, thinking, I am the new uh, Elder. Thinking, just having the title Elder just instantly makes... Everything okay. Of course he grew up sheltered, which makes your thinking a little differently. Because depending on how you grew up and how you learned, you can think differently. He was being very childish on thinking, How do you not trust that I'm the elder? Anyone can just say it. He's been growing up in an area where everyone's truthful and honest. Lies were not known, or lies were foreign to him, I'm guessing. So, he needs to understand about the world first. And I feel like, even though I'm, as I said, I'm giving him a bit of shame on what he's doing, people can always learn over time. Here, why don't you pinch this little tiny sword, huh? Um, but yeah, I feel like he's not, he's not um, elder material yet, but it doesn't mean he can't become one. He's just, uh, he has to learn. I'm not saying I'm perfect, but I've seen a lot of the world, uh, through internet, of course, but I feel like I've learned how to, uh, see, talk to people here and there. Otherwise, let's continue. How do you feel about the rebellion? I feel great. There's not much to say. We have everything we need in order to win. I can't wait to see our new HQ, our new home. Yeah. Now, 
normally I would like to make episodes like about 20 or something like that so people don't get overwhelmed with the um, the length of it so I'll leave it off here and we'll have a continuation in just a moment because I really wanted to see this headquarters so thank you guys so much for watching and until I see you guys again have a great day everyone